Hello, our viewers. Welcome to yet another episode of My Story Talk Show. Uh, this is where basically we share stories, real life stories that are here to inspire and motivate you as viewers. Today, I'm blessed. Uh, my name is Chimonya and I'm your presenter today. I'm going to talk to one of the respected people at Charimbana University. And this is the Honorable Minister for Education, who is the, the top minister, Mr. Uh, Brighton. Uh, sir, you're welcome to this interview. Thank you so much, Mr. Chimonya. Thank you so much. Today we are going to talk about uh, student politics. Uh, one of the things that you quickly uh, observe if you're walking straight from a secondary school to a university is that there they do not select prefects like the way the school administration would do that. But here there are no more elections. And what we mean by this, this simply means there will be nominations, there will be campaigns. And finally we are going to do voting so that we see who are our leaders. And this is one of the people who, uh, who are sitting <coughs> in the executive at Charimbana University uh, Student Union. So um, the first question to set the borrowing that I would ask is um, what is the similarity that you have seen between uh, student politics and national politics? Uh, uh, one of the similarities that I have seen, I would say competition. Okay. That's the first thing, competition. Because what you are dealing with are minds. So even if at national level there are people that needs to cast a vote exactly and exactly. for them to cast a vote they need to believe in an individual in you. same applies with the university level for people to vote for you they have to believe in you so i think competition is one of the similarities what? yeah competition is one of the similarities that have been stated but probably in, in proceeding what is it that really inspired you or motivated you to join into politics okay uh what motivated me was uh the issues to do with a problem then without seeing solutions. Mm. So the main thing that inspired me to join student politics was to provide solution to a problem. So one of the issue, the reason why I even went for my position was the issue of results. Results. Yeah. You know, as a student, we're mainly here because of school. And imagine where you are subjected to write an exam and you are not subjected to see your results. Because you have to be moving at a pace where you are able to gauge yourself as a person, even in life. So, there's a point where you need to look back and reflect, okay, how has my life been? Mm -hmm. So, when you look at the phases of life, definitely they will even help you to plan ahead. So, I feel, I, by then I felt the issue of the results was a pain in the neck of students. So, I was really intrigued and motivated to stand on this position because I wanted to provide a solution to what was the problem. You, you wanted to provide a solution to the problem that existed. This has reminded me of um, one of the politicians that we've had recently. We lost a Garan soldier by the name of uh, the late uh, Honorable Tutu Anguruve, who started his political career at the University of Zambia. And we saw him actually scooping even the position of leading the people of Kawe as a member of parliament uh, during the patriotic uh, front uh, government. But my question is, do you see yourself uh, continuing with this uh, career of politics, even at national level? Because, by the way, we have the Minister of Education, even at national level, and they are sitting there at Manda Hill, making our laws as a country. Mm -hmm. That's really tough. Okay. Yeah. At, at some point, I was seeing myself continuing. But at, again, looking at the things that I want to pursue, I've not seen myself continue with the issue of politics. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Such a disappointment to people who might have heard of the brilliance that is coming out of your explanation. But uh, probably, what are some of uh, the challenges that you have faced throughout your political career? Mm, the challenges are a lot. Uh, first of all, when you are elected, when you are not elected, there are so many things that we feel and see as though they are easy. But when you are in that shoe, you, you, discover, you discover that it's a whole new story. So what it is, is now you need to face the reality as uh, prior to what you were imagining Talking it about. would be. So one of the challenges that I have faced is uh, I would talk about uh, dealing with people in higher offices, people that are older than you. That one is number one challenge. First of all, they expect you to respect them, and whenever you are against them, they feel and think as though you don't have respect for them. So, yeah, so which is more like a challenge for you to reason with 
somebody that's older than you and you as a young person so there are others that are quite understanding and they will easily attend to you but there are others that are so difficult because they still believe in the old notion but uh, technology is advancing so you know trust it's one of the things that exactly. has really uh, caused you challenges especially with penetrating the uh, the higher authorities exactly. i believe this is a takeaway to somebody there who might be you know aspiring to to to, to join politics whether at a student's level or even at national level but maybe bringing it up to you what are some of uh, you know the advices that you might be having to somebody who wants to uh, join the political career especially starting from here at a university level uh, w one of the advice that I would give to anybody that's trying to emerge as a student politician is uh, first knowledge knowledge is the key before you start fighting for a cause you have to understand why that cause is there because at the end of the day you be caught unaware because when you stand in for something like, uh, for example, what happened recently where the student that was trying to fight for something that's already underway mm. and they couldn't understand the background of that story. So here is the first year who is fighting for something that's meant for third years and they don't even know okay. how far it has gone. Okay. So now imagine where you portray yourself to fight for something yet it's been worked on in the background so it's very important that you find out first of all how it's been how the system you understand the system then know where am i going to go in then know your interests know your weaknesses know your strength that's when you join in don't just join without finding out having knowledge about how it goes how things are run that would be my answer there are two things of doing something there are two ways of doing something rather it's either you are starting it or you are joining it but when we talk about politics you are here to join therefore from his advice is that you must not only forge ahead but the first thing is basically looking at where it has come from so that you are not just pushing in the long direction yeah, yeah. I, I believe you are in your last year here at charimbana university and it's been a very long journey for you uh, balancing between the academic life and the political life how has that been with you mm that has really been difficult okay even at this stands now like there's so much pressure you know where you're attending a class then you just receive a call you are needed at the offices then you miss classes all because of uh politics so it's really been a challenge especially the time that i was starting i was unable to balance mm. you know where you are being introduced to something you something i needed to shift from where i was to something different so i needed to balance up it was so diff difficult but as it stands now i'm able to balance up i know when i'm supposed to do politics i know when i'm supposed to attend to my studies well that's really amazing because of that probably i would love to ask a question because you've expressed yourself being a very busy person but uh, uh you know we, we are always um you know brought in, in a space where we see a lot of people uh, criticizing, condemning others, praising what you're doing, but hearing it from you, how does it just feel, this is a personal question, when you see yourself working hard to get things done and then other people are not seeing anything apart from the negatives? Uh, that, uh, you know, at, at times, uh, what I would say is, uh, it's about understanding. You, you know, when we even talk about the Bible, it says, the Bible says, two cannot go together unless they do what they agree. they agree. What is the agreement? It's understanding. So if I understand you, definitely we work together. So in answering your question, I would say, uh, there are people that will criticize you. Then you look at them. Who are these people? You know, there are those that I imagine to be politicians. So now, when you see somebody who is also emulating to be like you, I get worried because they also want to be in my position. Exactly. So exactly. they need to also feel and understand that, okay, what I'm trying to do, I also want to be there. But there are those that don't want to be where we are. Mm. So those people definitely, personally, I do understand them because I know they are speaking from an informed perspective. So it's it's a normal routine and uh criticism again when we look at it i think it's gross because if you are not criticized you never go you know there come the time where you even forget that you have good duty 
and you're just seated by a room or maybe you attend to classes then you forget but the moment you see people complaining it's a head up that there's something that's wrong so no wonder there are certain things that we've not achieved because students have not mentioned they've not spoken about it so whenever we see criticism personally i'll look at the person that's criticizing me is this person speaking from an informed decision or point of view definitely with me i just treat it as a way to push me to go forward those are wise words from the education minister visit uh, we are coming to the end of the program and uh, just the, the last question how is uh, the president doing ah uh, the president doing fine. It's okay? Very much. Okay, uh, Mr. Brighton, it's been a pleasure having you here Thank on you my so story much, talk Mr. show. We are so grateful, please, and we wish you the best as you continue working for this mighty university. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be given this time. Thank you so much. Well, viewers, we've come to the end of uh, our episode here as we were looking at uh, student politics. Uh, with me, Chimunya Mijero, I've been your host, and today we were blessed with, uh, you know, the presence of uh, the academic or the education minister here at Charimbana University, who happens to be uh, Mr. Brighton uh, Mulimbika, who was our guest today as we were talking about his story in, in and as far as uh, politics at this university is concerned. What you can best do is simply to follow our Facebook page, which is My Story Talk Show. You do well to also subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of the episodes that are coming after that. For me and the production crew, is bye-bye for now. Thank you.